Hello, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bram Tea. Tea. I'm your host, Bram Tea. I'm your host, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot for a second. And today's episode is going to be about moving outside of the United States of America and why so many people are moving out this year and last year. Mm-hmm. New record of how many people are moving out, why everybody's doing it, what's our opinion on it, are we thinking of doing it Mm -hmm. and just getting our input on it because you guys know living in america right now in the united states it's tough is tough and we are saying this as people who make money we're blessed to make money and i can't even imagine those who aren't as fortunate as us and those who are struggling out there because for us to say that like that should alone say something like speak volumes no, yeah, and we're speaking to a lot of our friends, colleagues, I guess you could call them, people that do the same stuff as us or make similar amounts of money. And even, like, it doesn't matter if you're making, like, a million a year or 60K a year. Everybody's feeling the same way mm-hmm. about, like, living in America right now. And it's just, it, honestly, I didn't see I didn't see a time where the American dream was no longer, like, an American dream. Oh, no, I agree 100%. Because, I think the American dream is such BS now. No, because what if you think about it? We're like second generation, right? So our parents came to the country thinking like, oh, like I can't wait to make my life so much better. And the American dream, buy a house, get a job, make good money. Well, back then it was easier and better, but now it's shit, I think. Yeah, no, now it's like, now it's like not even reasonable or realistic. No, at all. It's like ever since, I don't know if it's ever since COVID or when it happened, but everything, obviously inflation, like everybody knows about inflation. Everything went up so much. But just like basic stuff like housing and groceries, it's like even us, when we go to the grocery store or we're looking around the market or we're looking for like whatever we're doing for the houses or whatever, mm-hmm. we're just like, what are these prices? Oh, yeah. It's it's insane. It's literally insane. I think the American dream, what we've been told is the American dream is just like BS. And we've been told our lives, you know, this is the greatest country on earth and We have freedom, like our country, like we have, I think, the most amount of freedom, Mm -hmm. but slowly it's being stripped away. I mean, look at the TikTok ban. Mm -hmm. But besides that, I think everything else is just BS. Like our healthcare is insane. Um, Buying houses, the prices are crazy. Food is crazy. Just we are not prioritizing the things that need to be prioritized. And we are focusing on other countries more than we are our own. In America, it's like top. I don't know what it is, but. Probably one of the most unhealthiest countries. Unhealthy, yep. Just every, like all around looking at it now, now, you know, we're older now and we've been through, we've been to so many different countries and exactly. you won't be in our shoes unless you travel. Like traveling open up, opens up your eyes like no other. And we're really not talking does. because you're going to go to a prettier beach or because no, no. like the margaritas are cheap. Like that's not what we're talking about. We're mm-hmm. talking about how you will talk to people there and you will see their laws and you would just see like the life the um, lifestyle the lifestyle and like quality of life yes and they're like, like happy mm-hmm. and when you think like oh america is the best country and everything else is like not as good and if i go there i won't be happy yeah. that is bs because yeah, and honestly been brainwashed to think no, that living outside the country you're gonna struggle no let's say it's propaganda because if you think about it we've been fed these lies like mm-hmm. and you know this is the main reason why i think tiktok's getting banned is because oh, yeah. everybody's opening their eyes like you said in the beginning last year 2023 i think was a like the record for how many expats, how many people left the country Mm -hmm. in like since for like the last 50 years, I think. No, yeah. People are moving out the country like ants. And and I think we are, and you're going to hear it here first. I think we are going to be following in that footstep. Honestly. Leaving the country. We are on the verge. Like we're like, honestly, we are on the verge. And without saying too much, like we might be in another country in the next couple of months and we're not saying yeah. this to exaggerate like we no. really genuinely this is a, the i think dead we really are going to um taxes are insane just life and life in general is not, insane and just not only taxes it's just like basic living expenses everything which if you think about it do you really think you should go to a grocery store every week or every two weeks and spend a thousand dollars or yeah. five six hundred dollars or go to costco and buy necessities like paper towels toilet paper 
and spend four hundred dollars every time you go. Yeah, like, and think we about don't. That. And I don't want to come across this video like as ungrateful people because yeah. I am very grateful that our parents migrated here to the United mm -hmm. States and gave us this life, and we have the careers that we have because we live here. Yeah, and our kids were born here and they're American citizens, and we have a house and we're healthy, and you know. So I'm like, I'm not trying to sound ungrateful for anything. Yeah. It's only based off of us traveling to other countries and realizing like, oh my God, you go to the hospital and get x-rays and get all these things done to you and you walk out with a $130 bill. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, your groceries cost this much money. Like, oh my God, there's no chemtrails in the sky. Like, oh my God, your there's food's no organic. Shootings. Like you don't have to worry about what you're getting at the grocery store because it's all organic. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, gun violence doesn't exist. Like, mm -hmm. bro, it's like a lot of things. And it's like, yeah. I feel like we're going to get a lot of hate too because you see this all the time on social media. People will hate, like, um, especially Americans or, like, native yeah. people. They'll be like, well, if you hate it in this country, then you should leave. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's not about that. It's like, I have, you know how many Americans that, American friends I have, like, American, African-American, white people, whatever, right? That even them, they speak about how this country is, like, unbearable and how they want to leave the country. Yeah. So I'm not just saying this out of my ass to be ungrateful because I feel like, yeah. It, it can't come we're, off a little ungrateful. Yeah, we're not, we're not trying to be ungrateful, so I just want to say that now. Like, we no. don't hate the United States. Hate's a very strong word. We're mm -hmm. grateful for the United States, you know? Um, there's other countries out there that it's... Worse. Worse. Yeah. So, like, we are grateful to be here, but, but we also mean we have to stay here. Exactly, and we also recognize that it's not the only country. Like, you, a lot of people may think, like, America, America, America. It's not the only country that you can have a good lifestyle, have good healthcare, have mm -hmm. good... A good uh, school system. Mm -hmm. Be happy. Be healthy. Yeah. Like, I don't know. We just, I feel like the whole reason we're even thinking like this is because we've been able to travel. Mm -hmm. And explore other countries. So we recently just came back from Costa Rica. We were there for eight days. Mm -hmm. And I feel like those eight days is all that we needed to realize, like, yeah, we don't want to be here in the United States anymore. Yeah. The life prices of the homes are less. I mean, Costa Rica is, you know, not a very cheap place to live just because a lot of there's a lot of tourism and it's growing a lot and a lot of people are moving there and retiring there. Yeah. But the houses are, you're going to get like, for example, a $500 thousand dollar house here is going to be something pretty small, like a thousand five hundred square feet. You're going to have to remodel it. Mm -hmm. And over there, a $500,000 home is going to be right by the beach. It's going to be like basically from the beach. brand new. Very nice. So you're not going to find a house in Costa Rica for like a hundred thousand dollars, but you're going to get your money's worth. Yeah. And then all of the food over there is very, very, very natural, very organic. Like you don't have to go somewhere specifically just for organic food. Like you're going to be served organic food. You're going to be served natural food for them. It's not technically organic. It's, it's just food. normal because they're not putting so much poison and crap in their foods for yeah. us. Organic is such a huge thing and you pay extra money because these things are not getting added to it over there. It's just their lifestyle to not do those things. Yeah. And over there, there's no chemtrails, no weird stuff in the sky. There's no, um, crazy in health insurance prices that you have to pay. You go to a hospital, you go to a dentist and you're walking out with a bill, the, you know, the same amount as like a tiny bit of groceries here. Mm -hmm. Whereas over here, I gave birth to the twins and my hospital bill, guys, oh my God, I gave birth to the twins five years ago and my hospital bill for the C-section and for the twins being in the NICU for 10 days came out to $130,000. And I'm not exaggerating. And no, I will that's... show you guys the receipts. And I walked out with a $130,000 bill because I didn't have health insurance at the time. Yeah. And I shit myself. I literally shit myself. And there was no way that I was going to pay $130,000 because that money could go to something useful mm -hmm. for my kid's future, for a house. So I was like, there's no way I'm paying this. And I ignored it, right? So it's been five years. The other day, <laughs> and it's crazy because the other day I was talking to... Um, I think it was my sister-in-law about it. I was like, oh my God, like my hospital, I remember my hospital bill, I never paid it. And then a couple of days later, I get a mail in a letter in the mailbox and I open it and it's that hospital bill. It was now sold to a, a what is it? A credit bureau? Like, like uh, a collection? A collection agency. Yeah. And it finally found me. It found me after five years, it found me and now it's to a collection agency. And then on the letter it was like, if you pay right now in full, like, they we'll give you a discount. Yeah, the discount. And I'm like, okay, let me keep reading. I'm reading. I'm like, okay, what's the discount? They discounted me like thirty thousand dollars. So it was, it was still, be, it was still like, eight. it was like ninety. No, I think it was like ninety something. Yeah. And I was insane. like, bffr, like bffr. How is it 
Like, that for me to give birth to two babies and for them to be in the NICU, you're going to give me a $130,000 bill. Like that right crazy. there is the craziest thing that I have heard in my life. Like that is what people are struggling with every single day here in the United States mm-hmm. with these crazy hospital bills. Mm-hmm. Any other country would never, they would never do this to you. No, not only that, if you have medical insurance for like a family of five, it's like $1,000 a month. It's, it's like it's insane either way and you still have co-pays and just a bunch of like just the thing this is what it is right mm-hmm. and i feel like you're gonna agree or disagree with me what it is with america the biggest problem is that it's too big of a system everything's a system and everything is too capitalistic trying to make money off every step you take oh yeah like literally every step you take if if if, if one you, doctor has to come and take your vitals that's one yeah if you want to go to a free uh recreate like a no if you want to go to a free park like a you nature. You gotta pay for parking. Yeah. If just to walk through this park, you gotta pay for the park. If you Something want, that God gave us naturally, it's like a nature you preserve. For everything here. You have to pay for parking. It's insane. It's like, and then you gotta pay for water if you're like everything. In- Over in Costa Rica, we didn't get charged for no, nothing stupid like everything no. was free like because they want you to be outdoors for yeah. like healthy living and because over there it's pura vida it's, which means pure life like, they want you to be outdoors like they literally want people you to be park healthy. on the beach like imagine here when oh you go to the beach you have to get arrested you have to get arrested and you have to pay for parking and you'll get your tow your car towed and then you'll get a ticket and then like no. you'll get harassed and no it's just like we traveled to so let me tell you all the places we've traveled to in the past three years we've been to um london we've chile. been to cuba chile Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Cayman Islands, Costa Rica. Um, and I think that's everywhere we've been, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, so we've been to a, like a handful yeah, of Yeah, we've been to Puerto Rico a bunch of times. And I mean, just going to Costa Rica recently and just seeing how people there are living, just yeah. seeing like how we felt. We were like not bloated vibes. not one time. We ate out every single day. Two we ate out times every meal. Every meal. We were not bloated. We had so much energy. I lost we weight, felt, bro. Bro, my skin was good. I was like, you lost weight? I lost weight. I lost like five pounds and I ate anything I wanted. Every yeah. time I ate out, I ate anything I wanted. It, like, oh, oh my God, guys. Just I drank beer and everything. That like, lifestyle made us. I came back home and I remember I was driving, right? And I just felt depressed. Yeah, and right. at that very t- moment in time, Lewis had sent me a YouTube video and he was like, hey, look at this video. Like this couple moved to Costa Rica. Yeah, it was like and- a documentary style video of this, this couple. And it's crazy. The lady mm-hmm. in the video, she had cancer. Yeah. And she ended up going to Costa Rica for 10 days and she felt so much better. Yeah. And they decided to sell everything, pack everything up and go. And yeah. I think she beat cancer. She went over there. She went to the doctor and they're like, you don't have cancer anymore. Just yeah. based off of that. But I was driving and I was listening to the YouTube video that he sent me. And I was listening to it like in the form of a podcast instead of watching it. Mm-hmm. And in the video, she was like, just the energy here is so much different. Like, you just feel like, like a, light energy. a light energy. And at that moment, I, I was just driving, feeling depressed. And I'm like, that's yeah. what it is. Like, the energy here in the United States is just so heavy. And you might Only be that, thinking, you were li- like... You were li- like, didn't you tell me you were literally driving like 45 minutes? Yeah. Like, you're driving 45 minutes traffic uh highway full of traffic yeah it's like you don't see beauty you're just like on a, you're just wasting your life away like driving He's driving yeah and i thought to myself like that is so true like that's exactly what i was feeling like the energy here is just so different and i felt the same i way. can go like deeper into everything but just like our air isn't clean there's chemtrails everywhere there's barely any trees it's all cities you just spend your time driving. You spend your time paying bills. You spend your time worrying about bills. Your Working credit cards bills. are due. You have to go work a nine to five. The work life like, balance here is horrible. Like people literally work two jobs, like eighty hours a week, to even try to maintain. You have to now. They're trying to do retirement age at seventy. So just overall, with everything that we know, we are just so over living here, and we have the opportunity, and we're very grateful, and we're very blessed to be able to make decisions like this, where we're like, you know what, like we want to move outside the country because we work from home, we create content. So we are highly, highly, highly considering moving outside of the United States. It's, we're just over it. Eating healthy is a top priority for me and Brampty, but it can get really difficult with our busy lifestyles, running a business, having kids. But eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to go in just two minutes. There are over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Factor is a perfect solution if you're looking for fast, premium options with no cooking required. We love Factor because they're delicious and they're convenient for our busy lifestyles. 
Head to factormeals.com slash Bramty50 and use code Bramty50 to get 50% off. That's code Bramty50 at factormeals.com slash Bramty50 to get 50% off. I can get very deep, but we're not because then it just gets into like personal matters and personal financial things that like it's just something that we're not going to share with the internet like we you know we we share a lot with you guys but we also have our limits on what we want to share and what we don't want to share yeah but it's to the point where just we're just so over it and we are very like we're highly considering moving outside of the country and if you guys feel the way that we're feeling just go to a country that you hear a lot of do your research Mm -hmm. because now tiktok is the best place to do your research back then you'd go to google and be like why should i move out the country and you'll get like a wikipedia thing and it'll be just like a paragraph and it'll feel so cold and it won't be genuine and you yeah, never know like, who runs the website exactly it'll be it, it could be, be propaganda like government yeah. mandated you know but nowadays like use tiktok to your best resource because you'll get actual um a person People. giving their testimony, testimony and it yeah. feels more warm it feels like a conversation like it feels like you're actually like talking to them or facetiming them and you're gonna get you know a real experience and testimony from them. So like, that's like your best thing to do. Just go watch videos and then go travel to the place and see if you can see yourself there because it's, it's It's an experience for yourself. And one thing I told Bramty, like, I know we're saying we highly consider, we highly consider it. But like one of the things that we, when we went there, we experienced obviously the vibes, the food, like the beauty. That's not what you consider moving somewhere Mm -hmm. for. You know, you consider, we can even consider the kids too. Like, yeah, how do they feel? They loved oh God, it. Like guys, when we so left. When we went to Costa Rica, um, we were like, oh my God, should we move here? And I started looking up schools and there was a school by the area, the, by the city that we really loved. And it was this private school, right? So this private school, I was on their website and I was reading their philosophy. I was reading what they stand for. I was reading everything about them. And other schools like we strive for responsibility and character and it's like just bullshit like just things that every school says here in, in the united states right yeah, yeah. and over there like it blew my mind like i had to like wipe my eyes and be like am i reading this right i'm like wait because i've never seen anything like this before and our kids have gone to really great private schools yeah, like bougie here private schools. in the united states expensive private very schools. expensive and this private school in costa rica was like we focus on their mental well-being. They're eating organic foods. We host classes, on, like the school's on the beach, and they're like, we'll do classes on the beach for activities. Mm-hmm. We'll teach the kids how to pick up trash on the beach. They have a swimming pool, and they teach their kids like swimming swim. safety like yeah. lessons. And you'll see pictures, and the kids are literally doing like math work in the a coolest, circle on the, the sand. They're grounding with the earth. They're eating organic foods. The teachers are surfing. worried about like surfing. their mental health. Yeah, they're surfing yeah. mental health because here, they don't care about your mental health do your work sit down be quiet right over there like they're letting kids be outside and be kids and be with the earth and when i saw that i was like that is uh, insane and it's also spanish they teach spanish and bilingual and that to me was just like you know i homeschool the kids and homeschooling you know they they're here they play outside they're getting to be with mother nature they're here in the house but like i like this school 100 percent is where I would put my kids in like over homeschool because that's everything that I want for my kids. And Mm -hmm. I am not going to be able to find anything like that here. And if I do, I have to live in a really, really, really expensive area. And then the tuition is going to be insane Insane. over there. It was $600 a month. You're hearing that right. $600 a month, Monday through Friday, regular school hours, lunches are provided. It's organic. They're going to the beach, swimming lessons, everything included here. Like if you really think about it, that's per kid, 600 a month. Yeah. per kid. You're paying that weekly per kid for a daycare, probably part-time part-time for a daycare a week. Not even a school, a daycare. Our kids used to go to this, uh, a Montessori daycare school thing here and per kid to go three times a week only was like a thousand dollars per kid. Mm-hmm. Right. Per That's month. three days a week and per month. Um, and you have to bring your own lunch and they're not teaching anything. They're just, they're just playing with blocks and the end. Yep. So it just goes to show that like these other countries are so far ahead and they actually care about things mm-hmm. that the United States doesn't. So everything that we love is over there in Costa Rica. It's no, and also I was going to say too, like don't just go there thinking about the beauty and lifestyle and this and that. I was saying like, with the one factor that me and Bramty both were like, okay, let's see like, what are, what are other people doing? Like when you go there, you literally see so many people, foreign people, not from Costa Rica, like Americans, Australians, Europeans, that they live there as well. So like I'm thinking like if they did it, one thing that I 
paid attention to when I was there because I'm not just like naive. I didn't just go there and see the palm trees and the water. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the place I want to live. I also like looked around the environment and I was like, look how many people are here that were foreign, like not from there. Europeans, Americans, Australians that I feel like they all figured it out. Mm -hmm. Like they figured out how to escape the system and they live and they were bro. Tell me I'm wrong. Everybody was happy. I did not see not one like person getting a fight. Nope. Getting with like with attitude, not one. People are walking, literally wake up, walk out to the beach or mm -hmm. go to the coffee shop. Like people and are happy. There was so fit. Like, oh, yeah. We did not fit. see one overweight person. And I don't mean this like in a rude way, but, you know, realistically, when you're fit, you're healthy. So yeah. we didn't see like one overweight person over there. Everybody was fit. Everybody was walking. Everybody everywhere. People were doing activities like surfing, working running, out yoga, yoga. And it's just like, wow, like I love to see that. The and lifestyle was so good. And just, you know, not just speaking on Costa Rica, but anywhere else, like people are moving to Dubai, people are mm -hmm. moving to so many other places around yeah. the country that it just goes to show that people are, like Lewis said, breaking out of the system and realizing yeah. that, you know, if you're struggling with your bills, if you're struggling, if you can't buy a house, if you're working in a five, if you feel like you're depressed, if you're just if, tired, if you're having a lot of health issues, because health issues doesn't only have to do with what you eat, but it has to do with your lifestyle. Are you mm -hmm. depressed? Are Stressed. you sitting in a chair nine to five are you not getting sunlight because you can't because you're just working when you get out of work it's nighttime and you're going to bed like if you're having health issues mm -hmm. if you're living paycheck to paycheck highly consider your options of moving outside the country because your life will change like no other we've been reading and seeing and watching so many videos online of people's testimonies and it's insane so this is something that like we're very highly considering and we wanted to share with you guys in case you guys were thinking the same thing yep. or if you guys have never heard of this and you're like oh my god everything she's mentioning i have health issues i'm working nine to five i can't pay my bills groceries are expensive like let me listen to what they're saying because we we're not talking out of our asses like we've mm -hmm. been to these countries we've traveled mm -hmm. so just maybe like take our advice and realize and consider like, okay, you know what? Like, I'm going to listen to what they're saying. Like, I realize that what we're saying can come off like, oh, it's easy for you guys to say because you do social oh, media, yeah. right? But like, I don't take this, like, don't take that to be discouraged. Like, I've seen many people that are digital, digital nomads that they started a marketing, like started marketing or that even I've seen people that even trade work for a free place. Like, I've oh, seen yeah, all the time. Yeah. There's a lot of people that we met in Costa Rica, like um where we'd talk and she's like oh yeah i work at the store in exchange like i'm getting a free uh apartment room a room you know, an apartment or whatever yeah. and you guys can also find like a lot of jobs online you know people are looking for a lot of people to work remotely and yep. you can work from anywhere so mm -hmm. there's just like a lot of things to consider Little options and we i we wanted to voice our opinions on this just because we are just so over the united states and the way everything is becoming and i think like the tipping point for me well, I mean, I've been wanting to move out of the country. Costa Rica was like just like a push. But then also um, when this whole TikTok ban started happening, I'm like, are you serious? Because TikTok has shown us so many things and has opened up our eyes mm -hmm. to many to so many secrets that the government has been hiding from us. Yep. And we've been learning so much in the sense of how to uh, fix your car, how to fix this, how to cure this, how to do this, how to work from home, how to like it's crazy how many things we're learning on there for free yep. um we are learning the secrets behind the government we're learning credit card hacks we're learning bank hacks we're learning stock hacks how we're, to be healthier how to be healthy yep. like it, everything tiktok's just a great thing and then we're also seeing things going on in our world for in like straight on compared to cnn or fox news or whatever like we're actually seeing it from people like recording firsthand. from the phone so we're actually seeing it for what it really is mm -hmm. and you know we're just uncovering a lot of things and obviously the government doesn't like that and, and like they're trying to ban it now and for me it's like you are already making everybody's lives so impossible living here with the health insurance and like the violence and homelessness and the drugs and the predators just walking around the street. And it's like, now you're taking away our voice and for us to be able to like really communicate with other people on this app. And mm -hmm. it's like, how much more are you going to do? Like you're just pushing people away. And it's not even for me, it's not about a paycheck. Cause some people, I made a video about it on TikTok, and some, some people were like, Oh, you're just mad. You're going to lose a paycheck. Like I don't care about the paycheck. What yeah. I care more about is, us being able to have a voice, us being able to share things. Because if you guys don't know this, I'm in the in the journey of getting my certificate for herbal medicine. Mm -hmm. And 
I want to do it because I'm just very interested in that, but also because I want to share what I learned with you guys. Because if you guys want to know this, like you're either having to go to a holistic doctor, which is expensive, or you're having to do research on your own, which not everybody has the time to do so. Mm -hmm. So I want to share it with you guys. And it's like now you're taking away a platform and you're taking away people's abilities to help other people. So it's just like I'm just over it. I'm 28 years old. I'm about to be 30. I have three kids. It's like. Yeah, we're getting to the point in our lives. I just want to live a simple life, you know? Yeah, I think we're getting to the point in our lives where like, we're getting a little older. And another thing I wanted to touch on too, like take it from us, and this is not to brag, but me and you have been through a lot of shit already. Like we've done a lot. Like thank God, and we've done a lot. Like we've bought houses, sold houses, mm-hmm. had cars, sold cars. Like, you know, like I feel like we're getting to the point in our lives where it's, it's not, it's way more than that now. Yeah. Like we're like, not we were so like back then and it's so normal because when you get on social media it's normal to be like this but we mm-hmm. were very into like the cars and the looks and designers and the events and the parties but now we're just all we care about is and we weren't super deep into that but no. we enjoyed it you know like we we dabbled in it and stuff like that but like for like you've seen us we always say oh we're gonna buy our dream house and we buy a dream house and then we sell it like yeah we've but I chased feel like we finally awakened yeah and we're like this is not life because we're no. so like we're fed down our throats tiktok's in a part to blame but just to buy 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 and go to tj mm-hmm. maxx and go to marshall's go here, yeah. here, here consumerism you know is and crazy. have the fanciest cars and buy this diamond watch and yep. blah blah, blah. Yep. and it's like we i think we opened up like we mm-hmm. awakened and we're like what's our not true what we want. what's true value in your life like, like for us the happiest is when we're like on the beach when we're yep. on vacation when yep. we're together when we're like literally wear the same clothes every day on vacation like i think we wore the same sandals yeah. same shirt for like three days straight yeah and i don't care like i really didn't care yeah. i was eating healthy i felt great in the sun i was working out my kids were happy yeah. they were laughing smiling at the beach like that's what made me made me truly happy yeah. and like i wanted to bring that up because you said oh i don't care about the check on tiktok and just yeah. to just to put this out there like TikTok is one of your main platforms, but it's not your only platform. People act like you just came up on TikTok. Like no, yeah. you have other platforms. You have YouTube, which came before TikTok. You have your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like you're going to lose like a whole income. You're going gonna to be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my point of saying when you said, oh, I'm going to lose a bag and people are saying I'm going to lose a bag. Like that's the thing. Well, my point is like we don't care. Like yeah. in, a, in a sense, I like, guess we're very grateful and we're very like happy that we do have the opportunity to make money on social media but it's it's more than the money like mm-hmm. it, for us at 28 years old with three kids and our penelope's brother turned 10 like and we see ourselves farther in life it's not about the money anymore yeah it's I way like more than the money broke out of the in the, the matrix in a sense of like, like the we now know, materialistic like yeah thinking about money 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 material material yeah. material we now are in that part of our lives and i'm so happy because like we've we've started our journey very early you know i got pregnant early he joined the military we've moved a hundred times to mm-hmm. many different states we've done so many we've met people we spoke to people we've traveled mm-hmm. we're now at that part in in our lives where even though we're 28 we're very young because usually people don't discover this so they're like 40 or retired yep. where we're like we know what we want we want that lifestyle we don't care about materialistic things like as long as we're ha- together happy healthy and someone yep. where we're not like stressed over yep bills or this or that or that it's like we don't want that we don't care about that so i i'm happy that we came to that realization at the age that we're at and we want to share our testimony with you guys and we want to share what we feel and what we know because like i said some of you might be going through this some of you might be thinking about this or some of you needed a sign and let this be a sign um and i feel like i feel like this has been like a sign from god and i talked to this uh to some of my friends, like I have a friend that's really like he's a big Christian, and I we're we're speaking to Lori, the girl that helped us do the couple events that she's super Christian too. And I speak to I speak this to you all the time. Like I feel like God uh, gave us all these things that He gave us so early. Like we're twenty eight. You said we're twenty eight, yeah. and it's crazy that we're breaking out of this like matrix. We're like seeing things differently at twenty eight, mm-hmm. but it's because God gave us the ability and gave us all these things. Like put us. Put us on a silver platter. Like, here, have all these things. Yeah. Chase this, chase that, have this, have that. Yeah. To, for us to, like, snap out of it and see what we're seeing yeah. now. And maybe this was the journey that God wanted us to be on yeah. so that we can then experience it, realize, and then share it with you guys. Yeah, exactly. I'm not painting it to be a horrible thing that we went through all this stuff. Like, of course, so we're super blessed and I'm super grateful for it. I'm just saying, like, like you said, that's the perfect thing you just said. Like, for us to open our eyes and us being young, let us be your role models. Like we said the other day, like mm-hmm. we say this all the time, our biggest, our biggest aspiration on social media is to be your biggest role model. Yeah. Because we know that obviously we're not super old. And a lot of these young parents, a lot of the young teenagers, maybe that's are watching this right now are looking at us like, dang, they're 28. 
they're doing this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. They're seeing things like this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. I can too. And the younger you can, literally, I feel like so blessed that the younger you are, mm -hmm. that you can snap out of that like materialistic like fog of the America and the system and capitalism and consum consumerism, mm -hmm. the better you're going to be for the future of your life and your family. Yeah. And that's how I feel. Yeah. So that's the vibes that we're on. That's how we feel. And you like, know, we're, we're I ready. feel like we're at ready. this age, we are the most mature we've ever been. Mm -hmm. And I wish we would have like opened our eyes up to this many years ago. But of yeah. course, it's our journey. This is the moment where God wanted us to realize mm -hmm. what we want in life. And we're sharing this with you guys now. And yeah, I mean... Uh, take it how you want it take our advice or be like they're talking shit like they're full of crap like yeah. they're conspiracy but theorists. i do i do you know i do encourage you guys to truly truly think hard and be like okay that makes sense or it doesn't make sense if it doesn't yeah. make sense to you cool i get it mm -hmm. like maybe you just like you want the lamborghini and you want the lamborghini no matter what yeah but like really sit down especially if you have a family or you're trying to aspire to Create yeah. a family. You release it down and, and think just about like hold this podcast as like a topic of conversation for like exactly. the next time you and your spouse are talking or whatever, mm -hmm. and just really consider what we said and then do your own research. But just know that there is a better life right now in this moment outside of the United States because of the way things are happening now. Yep. Right now, it's. I mean, everybody can see it in the big. And like, I feel like the biggest thing is TikTok is showing you, like, bro, you know how many people are talking? I can't buy a house. I can't afford groceries. I can't do this. Yeah. I can't do that. Like, think about that. And I that. feel for those that are struggling because, you know, we're very fortunate that we are not struggling and we have a job. So that's why we say out of our hearts to help those who are maybe looking for a sign or who are at their breaking point or who are going through health issues. We can it's help like, you, I like, don't know snap what out to of it. Do. Take this into consideration because you can fix your health. You can go to a different country for a few months and just earn money, work remotely. Like just we're coming from a place of love because we mm -hmm. love and care for you guys. And because we've experienced this and witnessed this, you know, for how do you say it firsthand? Firsthand, yeah. And so we just want to share this with you guys. And yeah, that's what we wanted to talk today um, about with you guys about the consideration and possibility of moving outside the country. What do you guys think? Do you live outside the country? Yep. Have you ever lived outside the country for a period of time? Are you thinking about it? Yep. What, um, comment below if you're watching this on YouTube. Like, what are your thoughts? Because we are also like, we haven't lived outside of the country. So we're very new to this. Yeah, we're currently and still we doing do our wanna, research. Yeah, but we, we do want to hear what you guys have to say about it. And if you have already, I'm sure people watching this video are going to want to read your comments. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're like even struggling, like write that down too. Because I'm sure other people are struggling and they want to know that they're not the only ones. And yeah, guys, so we're going to go ahead and end out today's podcast. We hope that you guys enjoyed listening to this. If you guys, if you guys like this type of video where we're just like talking about our experiences and giving advice, let us know what you guys think, because mm -hmm. we have a lot of things to talk about because we've experienced so much yep. over the past like 10 years at a very young age, even though we're only 28. Yep. So yeah, thank you guys. Make sure that you subscribe, comment below, share this video if you're watching or listening. And with that being said, I am your host, Bram T. I'm your host, Lewis. And this was Will You Move Out of the Country? And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. Yay Networks.